Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about our final two surface decoration techniques. We're going to talk about slip trailing, which is what you see here, where you add slip to the surface and you can write with it, you can add texture. Uh, and we're also going to talk about these puff paint glazes. So they're actually called French dimensions. Uh, and what you can do with them is basically paint like you would with puff paints on a t-shirt or something with the different colors. Uh, to create some more dimension and smaller details. So uh, I'll start with the slip trailing. So slip trailing is basically taking slip, making sure it's really well mixed. You want it to be pretty liquidy and you put it in one of these containers. Uh, if you notice, there's this needle tip at the end. A lot of times these get clogged. So just ask if it is clogged. I usually keep a needle to make sure that we can clean it out. And once your piece is completed, basically you've finished any bottom work that you're gonna do, uh, any details, and it's starting to dry out, you take your slip and you start to draw with it. If you notice that it's starting to get clogged, uh, you can stop and use that needle tool at any point, but the slip on the surface then becomes clay when it hardens. So it's important that you do this and then you give it some uh, time to dry. If I put it directly in a bag after this, then it would distort what I have. So this is some slip that I just put on. If you look over here, this is stuff that's dried already. So it will give a little more dimension. And then if I use a uh, glaze that is more translucent, it'll highlight the details that I've done. So slip trailing, you do it when it's leather hard. For the French dimensions or the puff paint, these are glazes that have already are, have the color in them. So they're not slip, they are actual glaze in one of these little applicating bottles. I have maybe 10, 20 different colors of them. They also can get clogged, so I keep needles that you can use to clean it out. They also can dry out, so you have to add water sometimes and shake them up. But the idea is that you take your bisque square pieces uh, and you would either apply glaze first. So here I put some blue bell, which is a light blue. Then I can take my French Dimensions glaze, which is already clogged, and I can put it over the top of the glaze that already existed, and I'll show you what it looks like. So right over that glaze, I can go and start to draw whatever I want to show up. I can make thicker lines, I can make thinner lines, it just takes some practice to kind of figure out what you want to do. So now when this is fired, this will be light blue, this will be black, uh, and the black will just puff up a little bit. I can also do it on just clay without any glaze. So here I would have raw clay and then this will have a black shininess to it. I could then also go and add clear over the top or I could put like a light blue over the surface as well. The basic idea is that slip trailing and the French dimensions give you a lot more small detail that you can do on the surface of your clay. just recording a video, Sarab.